taking a look at Marote Sanagi done from a standing position. In order to do this standing, you have to have mobility in the shoulders, wrists, and elbows, okay? And also a little bit in the hips. It's easier to do against somebody your own size, close to the same height, rather than somebody who's too tall or too short. Okay, when they're too tall or too short, it's a lot easier to do a dropping arm. So to start this throw off, I wanna make sure I have a good grip, high on the collar. I don't want to be down here to do this throw. I always want to practice high on the collar. It's gonna do a few things. It's gonna give me the control I need in order to throw my partner, and it's also gonna help me develop that mobility and the strength in my joints for practice purposes. When you're doing randori, however, and your hand drops a little, it's not the end of the world. It's just very hard to play a good, solid defense when your hand is this low on the collar. So you wanna do your best to keep it high. Now, pulling from this position is a different story. When I have a good control here, I wanna make sure that I can get the gi jacket to come off of him. So, keep your base for me. I'm gonna open up the jacket as far as I can, pulling it tight into the armpit here, and then I bring my elbow to my body. That way, there's distance here on the jacket. So rather than just grabbing low so that I can pull in and have that distance, I'm gonna practice starting high on the gi and high on the chest, opening up at the 45 away, and then closing my elbow in tight to the body. Noticing that I'm curling here with my hand, again, strengthening that wrist and the hand in order to have a good solid throw. So it's up and away, and then towards me, okay? And notice my hips are moving a little bit off. I'm getting a spring up and towards me. Up and towards me with the right hand. My left hand now, going from a good sleeve control position, is going down and up. So down, let's open it up. Down, open it up, and then the elbow is gonna close that off. Down, open, close it off. Okay, footwork. I step into position to open and then rotate. Back up a little bit. That way I can use the two mats here in order to show you the footwork. So I'm starting in a good right-handed stance. I'm going down, opening and stepping across, and then rotating into position. Down, when I open, I step across, and then I rotate into position. So. Down, open and across, through the position, making sure that everything is going forward to the best of your ability. Turn this way. Show you on here. Can't set it in the for me. There you go. So, we're down, across, straight on. Okay, left foot slightly behind the right foot. Good solid curl here in the hand so that I can lift and then finish the throw. So let's take a look at the finish. Down, open, and finishing, coming across. So that's gonna be your standing, rotate, stand high.